Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today's video, I am taking part in a Easy Meals collaboration. Guys, uh, if you hear talking in the background, I am listening to the word of God. Anyways, um, I'm making, you could either make a meal, a snack, a dessert. So I'm going to be making a snack. You could make this uh, with any filling that you like. And also you could make them as uh, empanadas with meat in it. But I will be using my favorite thing, which is guava paste and cream cheese. Uh, and I'm making a pastry. So guys, this video is part of the open collaboration, Easy Meals, which it used to be called Get Back and Track. You could either share with us uh, your routine exercise, you one of your healthy meals, or one of your snacks. I mean, my snack is not as healthy as um, I would like, but as you guys know, a lot of you guys know that my sugar drops. So I am making something that it contains sugar, which is the guava paste. It's, um, it has sugar. I suffer from hypoglycemia. My sugar never goes high. No matter what I eat, it always goes low. So I am making the empanada bites. This is what they look like. And then I am, will be showing you how I do it. I'm going to turn you this way. So, I don't know, you guys can sit there. Let me that. So, let me move on the other side. So, like so. Let me um, put the volume down on my TV a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So... Let me show you how I do one. I think you guys, let me bring you guys a little closer. I don't want to drop you guys. Sorry for the movement. So, um, you guys know I have a very limited counter space. So, um, I'll take my disc, which they come like this. And I'm going to cut it in half. And guys, I want to say that this collaboration is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Melissa from Bokai Girls with and Things. So guys, I take a little piece of guava paste like this, and then I put it here in the center. And then with that, I take a small piece of cream cheese. You could use any um, cream cheese or like I said you could use any filling that you like you could either use um, pie filling like blueberry apple pumpkin whatever is your favorite and you could do your snacks like bites I usually do this also for when I do my tea parties they are very well liked. Everybody likes them. My kids like them. My grandson likes them. So I take a fork, you know, little fork, and I put the ends together. And then I turn it around and I do the same thing on the other side. So I'm only doing um, five of them. Because the only person, believe it or not, guys, that don't like this is my husband. So, he does like them, but he doesn't like this kind. So, guys, I'm going to come right back. All right, guys, I forgot to show you just in case if you ever want to buy this little uh, pastry, um, you know, the disc. This is what it looks like. They come in different, I mean, this is the Goja brand, it's the one that I like. And you also have the one like this, this color, like the one that I show you. And then you also have the one that comes, that looks like a red, red color. So, which it has more, um, 
food coloring and uh, more season on the on the dough itself. I like to buy the ones that are like this because I could use them to either make sweet pastry or use them to get them filled with meat of your choice. So it's like you could do a silver steak um, in it. You know, you just close up. So I'm waiting for my oil to get half, which I believe it already is. So let's see. No, it's not completely hot. Let me turn the change you guys on this side, which this side gets hot faster. So, and you just fry them. I mean, if you have an air fryer, uh, it will be better, but I don't have that luxury yet, especially here, which I don't have any counter space or actually any storage place to put it in because I usually need my counter. So, and you guys just fry them into the term golden brown. Um, um, flip them constantly so it will, they'll cook evenly. So I will show you that. So just make sure you uh, flip them because they, they fry pretty fast. Um, if you have a deep fryer, you could also do it in, in a deep fryer. Okay. So when it's completely done, and it's cool, I, I like to eat mine a little bit more, but if you like yours to be cooled down, you could also um, sprinkle them with powdered sugar, or you could just dip it in granulated sugar. But for me, the paste, the guava paste, have plenty of sugar. That's the perfect amount that I need. So let me fry all of them, and then I'm going to come back at you and show you what it looks like. Well, guys, I am done. This is what it looks like with some powdered sugar spread a sprinkle on the top there you go you can see the filling inside guys when you buy them anything that they have like pipe filling you must be careful if it's still hot because that's gonna come into your mouth like lava and it's going to burn you so here's your first bite now bon appetit mmm there you go. Yeah. I have my coffee right over there. Anna, and Melissa, thank you for hosting once again. And I'm going to leave it, like I always say, be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile overall. Stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you. And Debbie also loves you, too. It will be into the next one. Bye-bye, guys.